Sing a song, How Lift Every Voice and Sing, Inspired Generations, written by Kelly Starlings Lyons and illustrated by Keith Mallett. I am going to apologize for my horrible singing. It's been a long time and I am out of practice, but whenever I see these words, they must be sung. Before you were born, a girl learned a song. Her principal, James Weldon Johnson, and his brother, John Roseman Johnson, had written the hymn for a celebration of President Abraham Lincoln's birthday. The girl wanted to make them proud. She hummed the song on her way home from school. She practiced it as she did her chores. On the big day, February 12, 1900, she was part of a choir 500 strong, back straight, head high, heart and mouth, open, she sang, lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of liberty. And she kept on singing as she grew up. She taught it to her students when she became a teacher. She crooned it to her husband as they journeyed from Jacksonville, Florida to the new life, a new life in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She sang it when she rocked her baby boy to sleep. It was part of her she wanted to pass on. And you know what? Her little boy learned that song. He listened to her hum it as she dreamed of being able to teach again in her new home. Her, he heard his daddy sing it when the days at the still mill wore him down. Then, one day, he stood in the choir loft and gazed at the glowing faces. Back straight, head high, heart and mouth open, he sang, Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. And he kept on singing. He sang it when he came back home from World War II and faced discrimination. He sang it when he joined the NAACP. He sang it with his wife and to his baby daughter as he rocked her to sleep. It was a part of him. He wanted to pass it on. And you know what? His little girl learned that song. She sang it each morning at school. Then came the day that broke the nation's heart. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was killed. The next morning, she saw her teacher cry. Sobs replaced singing, then whimpers and silence. Who would lead them now? The song whispered in answer. Back straight, head high, heart and mouth open, she sang. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. And she kept on singing. She sang it at protests for equal rights. And when she and her friends were jailed, she sang that song in her heart each time she won or lost a case as a lawyer. She sang it to her baby boy as she rocked him to sleep. It was a part of her. She wanted to pass it on. And you know what? Her little boy learned that song. Every family reunion opened with that anthem. He sang because he had to, he had to at first. But then something changed. He saw the awe in his grandparents' faces, saw the pride in his mama's and pop's back straight, head high, heart and mouth open. He sang, sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. And he kept singing. He sang it as his college graduation and when he opened his first business, he sang it at rallies to stand up against racism. He sang it holding his wife's hand at a black history program and when he rocked his daughter to sleep, it was part of him he wanted to pass on. And you know what? His little girl learned that song. And another on another big day, September 24, 2016, she stood in a crowd of thousands along with his, her mama and daddy. President Obama, the first lady and generations of one family, rang the freedom freedom bell, a dream born a century ago, to honor black lives and contributions had finally come true. 
the National Museum of African American History and Culture was officially opened. With the Washington Monument piercing the sky, the little girl stared at the bronze building majestic as a crown as bells around the nation toiled in triumph, tolled in triumph. She heard a voice rising too, clear and strong. It was a song she heard her parents sing, back straight, head high, heart and mouth open. She sang, facing the rising sun of our new day begun. Let us march on till victory is won. And you know what? That song is part of you. Sing when you score a victory. Sing when you t- when tough times get you down. Sing and think of all the people who sang before you, who carried on and pushed forward even when everything was against them. Sing and remember they never stopped believing. Keep singing, keep pushing, keep passing it on. Keep on keeping on. <laughs>